hello everyone and welcome again to another pearl beaded bag tutorial how are you doing today and i thank you for joining me so in today's tutorial we'll be using different sizes of bead i have here a 16 millimeter this is a 16 i have here 10 and this one is 12 okay and also 8 millimeter we have 16 10 12 okay that's all we'll be using today this is how the 12 look like this is how it looks like okay and this one is 10 this is how the 10 millimeter look like and this one is 16 this is a 16 and also 8 millimeter so this is my beading line in 50 pound this is my cutter you can use scissors or nail cutter so now we are going to start with four bead okay i'm starting with four of the 16 millimeter i'm going to string all these four on the line okay like this so today I'll be teaching you how to put knots in these pearls because they are heavy and big, okay? So that the bag can be firm. So I'm going to hold the first bead in my left, okay? Then I'm pulling back the line through the first bead, okay? Like this. And I make a little loop at the end. This is the loop. So I'm going to hold my right line and pull through the loop and pull, okay? so now this is how it's looking like i'm going to pull the knot into the bead okay into the top bead this bead okay here is the loop that we make all right i'm going to hold my left line and pull it into the top bead like this this bead okay and this is how it looks like very firm very strong it is not running on the line okay this is how it looks like that is how we are going to put the knot again i'm adding one bead to each side of my line okay left and the right line like this all right now the third bead i'm going to hold it again and put my left line through it now i'm going to put the same line back through the bead again okay like this to just make a little loop all right now you see how the bead are close make it close to each other okay now this is the loop that we make at the end all right and here i pull through my right line through the loop and pull hold the bead and pull the left line to pull the knot into the bead like this pull it into the bead and this is how it looks like very very simple it's a very simple method to use okay now on each side of the line again let me repeat this one more time like this all right now my left line i'm adding the third bead to my left line the same line i pull it back through the bead okay and make a loop okay the idea is to make a loop at the end make it close now hold the right line and pull through the loop all right pull it through the loop and pull the left line to hide the knot into the bead okay this is where we hide the knot pull it into the bead all right this is how it looks like very firm okay very strong okay so i'm going to continue to make 12 of these units okay i make 12 so this is 11 units that i made all right this is 11 units this is how it looks like if you count this is 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so now let's make the 12 and the final one so again i made my loop and i'm pulling my right line through the loop and pull i pull my left line to pull the knot in the bead this is how it looks like very very beautiful so this is 12 units that we made in all all right and now let's continue so on my right line I add three bead to my right line. I'm going to hold the last one, pull the line back into the bead, all right, to make a loop, pull my left line through it, and pull. And now, this is how it looks like, all right? Now, my right line, I'm pulling through the next bead. We are going to go through all this bead over here on the side and add two bead to it. So, I'm pulling through the next bead. I add two bead to the left line. I pull the same line through the bead to make a loop like this. All right. Then I hold my right line, pull through the loop, and pull. Okay. Now pull the knot into the bead. Again, my right line into the next bead. I 
through my right line this is my right line into the next bead all right now on my left line this is my left line i'm adding two bead to the left line i hold the same line okay this is two bead close pull the same line back through the last bead all right to make a loop pull the right line through the loop and pull okay hold it like this pull the left and pull the knot into the bead and this is how it's looking like you see how it's looking firm already my right line into the next bead now on my left line i add two bead to the left line i pull the same line back through the last bead to make a loop right like this i hold my right line this is the loop that i made Pull my right line pull through the loop and pull like this pull the left line and pull the knot into the bead okay now into the next bead two bead to the left line okay pull the same line back through the bead and pull the right through the loop and pull pull the knot into the top bead okay into this bead pull into the bead to hide the knot okay and this is how we are going to continue to complete the base okay i'm pulling through the next bead and i'm adding two bead to the left line like this i pull the line back make a loop pull the right line through the loop and pull hide the knot in the middle bead all right and this is how it's looking like very firm very strong and we are going to weave around this shape okay i'm going to continue to weave around this shape okay we are going to go into each and every bead over here and add two two bead to it on the side so if you reach the tip or the corner over here right here just go right into the next bead okay just pull through the next bead and add two bead to the left line like this make a loop all right turn the line back through the last bead and make a loop for the right line pull through the loop and pull okay then you continue this is how it looks like and we are going to continue the same way round until we complete the shape continue with the shape all right now i'm about to complete this one i made the loop and pull so now i'm about to complete and step up okay i'm going to step up my line i'm going to pull my right line into the next with these two bead over here that's why i'm going to pull my line this is the first one and this is the second one okay and this is how we are going to step up my line is in three bead all right so i take one bead pull back and make a loop all right like this and i hold my right line pull through the loop and pull okay so now the base of the bag is completed okay this is how it looks like a very firm weave so now i'm going to continue this is where my line is okay and i'm going to continue with 12 millimeter pearls all right now the second row is going to be in 12 millimeter i'm adding three bead to my left line i cross the last one with my right line and pull now my right line into the next bead so now into the next bead and I add two bead to the left line all right like this I cross the last one with my right line and pull my right into the next bead I add two bead to the left line cross the right line into the last one and pull okay my right line into the next bead again two bead to the left line cross and pull down my right into the next bead two bead to the left line cross with the right line and pull okay i'm pulling through the next bead again and on my left line i'm adding two bead to the left line cross my right line into the last bead and pull so over here i'm putting a knot you can do five width and put a knot into the five or the six one and continue the same way okay continue the same way round until you complete all right so i'm going to show you how to step up again this is how the weave is looking like okay very firm and beautiful 
So now let me show you how to step up again so you can continue our weaving. All right, this is how it looks like. You see the shape. All right, so now my right line, this is where my line is. I'm going to pull through two beads again, this bead and this one. This two over here, that's where I'm going to pull my line through. Pull through the 14 and the 12. All right, now my line is in three bead again. I take one 12 okay like this then i'll just knot over here putting a knot in between these two beads okay and now i'm going to hold my line and pull back through the bead to reposition my line okay pull it back through the bead to reposition the line like this okay make sure the line is in the bead like this all right so now let's continue with the next row i put two 12 and in between i put the 10 okay i cross into the 12 and pull like this now i'm pulling my right line into the next bead all right i take one 10 and one 12 cross into the 12 and pull now i'm going to pull through the next bead again and on the left line one 10 and one 12 cross into the 12 and pull right line into the next bead 110 and 112 to the left line cross into the 12 and pull okay i pull through the next bead again and i add a 10 and a 12 all right so i'm crossing my right line into the 12 millimeter like this and pull into the next on the left line 110 and 112 I'm crossing my right line into the 12 millimeter and pull into the next bead. All right. So now we are going to continue the same way round this shape until we complete it. All right. And step up again to make another row. This is how it looks like. Okay. If you complete this step, this is how it looks like. All right. So you can open it and have it wide like this, or you can press one in. Okay and have it this shape okay they all look so beautiful so so beautiful now let's continue this is where my line is okay so now i'm starting a new row with three 10 mm okay it's all right i'm going through the next bead and two 10 to the left line cross and pull this time i'm using 10 millimeter pearl all right and now i'm pulling my right line into the next bead and I'm adding two 10 millimeter pearl to the left line, cross and pull into the next bead, two bead to the left line. All right, this time we are using 10, 10 millimeter. All right, so into the next two bead to the left line, like this, cross and pull. Okay, again, I put my right line into the next bead. And on the left line, I add two bead to the left line. Okay, now crisscross your line and pull my right line into the next bead again. All right, and on the left, I add two bead to the left line, cross and pull. So this row, I'm using only 10 millimeter pearls. And I'm going to continue to weave, go around this shape until I complete it. All right, this is how it looks like. We are going to continue around the shape, continue around and complete. And this is what it looks like if you complete it, okay? This is how it looks like. So now, so again, we are going to make another row, all right? This is where my line is. And I'm starting with two 10 millimeter and in between I put the eight, all right? I put eight in between two 10. I cross into the 10 and pull. I'm going to put my right line into the next bead. Then I add one eight and one ten like this. I cross into the ten mm and pull into the next one eight and one ten like this. This is how I take the bead. Okay, eight first before ten. Cross into the ten and pull. So this is what I'm going to continue off camera and whip round the edge until I complete it. All right. So add one eight first and one ten and cross the right line into the ten and pull so this is how it's looking like and we are going to continue to weave all right i thank you for joining me today 
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel also you turn on your notifications for new videos that i'll be uploading so you don't miss on it thank you for watching today i cross and pull and this is how it's looking like this is our final row that we are putting here if you like you can build on it again but i'm going to stop right here okay and this is how it looks like so what i'm going to do is to embellish the edge a little bit okay let's embellish it with a little gold bead and the 12 millimeter all right the edge over here i'm going to embellish it a little bit this is my line i'm going to pull through this bead okay you see here this is the middle you see this three bead over here this is one two three all right leave the middle and start from the side this is the bead on the side okay from the middle one now this bead all right i'm going to add my 12 millimeter on it and i'm going to pull through the next bead pull the line through the next bead like this now on the same line i add one gold bead to it this is the six millimeter bead all right i pull through the next bead and now the same line add 12 go to the next bead and add six mm gold bead pull through the next bead 12 again into the next all right and gold bead into the next bead add 12 and pull through the next bead all right pull through the next again add one gold bead on the line pull through the next bead all right this is just a simple embellishment we are making at the end all right this is how it looks like very very pretty so this line it ends over here this is the last bead i'm going to pull my line through all right so the same this is how it looks like and i'm going to make a handle with the same line okay so i'm stringing bead on the line and in between i'm putting the gold bead okay this is a metallic gold bead in six millimeter this is how it's look like all right so on the opposite i left enough line so i can use it to make a handle too all right on the left side i left enough line this is where i'm stringing my line on like this all right this is how it looks like i'm going to tie make sure you hold it and see if it looks beautiful so i'm adding more bit to it all right okay now it looks beautiful so i'm going to tie in between these two beads over here i'm going to tie in between here the beads put a knot all right pull pull and pull tight so now after knotting we are going to run the line back into the bead and make it firm okay so now i'm going to hold this is how it looks like very beautiful very simple handle this is the very very simple handle okay and now i'm going to hold my line again and run through all the bead so what i'm going to do i'm going to run all this line through the bead and make it firm pull through it and pull tight okay pull through all the bead one by one all right so now i'm going to hold pull through all this bead all right and hold this side too i'm going to hold this line and pull through the bead okay run it through the bead tie and pull tight and nice and this is how it looks like so again this is the fresh line that i cut and i'm going to pull it through in between these two beads okay and tie all right pull it through and tie on the line like this make a knot in between those two pearls all right so now I'm going to hold the longer line and come through this bead. Pull through this system. Now I'm going to hold my line and make a way and come through the 12. Okay. I'm going to weave my line through the bead and come into the 12. This one over here. So now I'm pulling my line through the 12. All right. This part is optional. You can decide to do it or not. Okay so now i'm going to add my gold bead on the line and come through the next bead okay and i'm going to pull through this way okay on this direction again this is where the bead is it lands in the middle all right 
and now the same line I'm going to add another bead okay pull through the next bead this these are the bead that you are going to pull through so if you pull just add a bead pull through the next bead just the next bead in the front like this add another bead go through the next bead like this and pull add a bead go through the next bead so that is how I add the gold bead to embellish the bag. But this one is optional, okay? You can decide to embellish the bag or not. You can leave it like that. And it will look beautiful too. Either way, it looks beautiful. This is what I'm going to continue to weave, all right? This is, you see the line? This is where I'm weaving, okay? And this is the final look of the bag. It looks so pretty and beautiful. This is good for your wedding or white occasions. I hope today's tutorial helps you to make this pearl beaded bag for yourself and make it for your loved ones. Please don't forget to share the video and also turn on your notifications for new videos that I'll be uploading so you don't miss on any. I thank you for watching and I thank you for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.